Thank you for coming back again. Uh, we're going to take another look at Plain Mirrors. This is where we left off before. We had Mr. Symmetry standing over here. He found that his image was exactly the same distance behind the mirror as he stands in front of the mirror. And that his, the height over here was exactly equal to his height. Now, some people, when they look at mirrors, they think, even though it's a plane mirror, and even though we just proved over here through this diagram that it's the same height, they think they look a little smaller behind the mirror. Well, that makes some sense. Our mirror is right here, while the object is back here. That makes it look farther away than the mirror is. It's twice as far as the mirror is. So it should be half the size. As a matter of fact, we figured out that we only need half of a mirror in order to see ourselves. All right, let's explore that just a little bit more. I'm going to forego using the ruler this time. We're just going to do a quick sketch. And we've got the ground going across here. We've got our mirror coming up along here. We'll pretend this is a flat mirror. Okay, not the straightest line I've ever drawn in my life, but it's acceptable. We have our mirror here. And this time we're going to put a chair out in front of the mirror. And we're going to put Mr. Symmetry standing behind the chair. I will make it a little taller. And okay, so we have Mr. Symmetry standing behind the chair. Now, the midpoint of the chair is one, two, three, four, five boxes away from the mirror. And Mr. Symmetry is one, two, three, four boxes behind that. So the chair is effectively four boxes away from Mr. Symmetry, and the mirror is nine boxes away. Now, we know from last time that Mr. Symmetry is going to see himself nine boxes away from the back of the mirror. He's not a vampire. He will be able to see himself. Well, he can't see anything without his one eyeball in the middle of his head. So nine boxes out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's the middle of him. So here are his legs. Here he goes. How tall did I make him? I made him up to about there. Here are his arms. Here's his head. Here's this. Now, the now if he's the same distance out from here, there's no reason to think that the chair is not also the same distance out. And it is. And we'll prove that in just a second. So I'm going to come out five boxes. One, two, three, four, five. There's the middle of the chair. Chair goes up to here. Now, when Mr. Symmetry takes a look at that chair, and he says, man, that chair over there seems to be smaller than this chair over here. Well, of course it is. He sees the light coming to him as if it was coming from an image over there. Now, in reality, that light is traveling from this chair. And it bounced off so that from a normal, the angle of incidence equal the angle of refraction. And that's always true for every situation everywhere. The light is really coming from this chair and is bouncing off the mirror and then going to his eyeball. Now, if he looked at the bottom of the chair, he would, it would line up like this. It would look like it's coming from here. It would be coming towards his eyeball. But in reality, it would be pointed back over here. Now, this one's easier to see. That the angle of, one reason why I like graph paper, the angle of incidence and the angle of ref, ref, yeah, reflection are exactly equal to each other. And um, so once again, um, it ends up putting things exactly where they are in the real world, but equal distance behind them backwards in the virtual world. If we wanted further proof of this, we could measure this angle here, okay, which is the angular size of this chair. And we could draw it out from the top and bottom of this one and find that angular distance. And that would be exactly twice the size well, I'm, I take that back. It's not going to be twice the size. It's going to be some different proportionality. This thing's only four boxes away from him. 
the chair seems to Mr. Symmetry to be 15, not 15, 5 plus another 5 plus 4, 14 boxes away, and that is why it looks smaller. Not because of any reduction in magnification. The magnification for a plane mirror is always equal exactly to 1. 